guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, and today we're going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek on how simple it is to actually import your contacts from eEdge into the new KDB Command platform. Now, I know a lot of people have actually received access to KDB Command. I think it said about 14,000 or so have access to it now. And they actually have a way where you can go through and just mass import your contacts from eEdge after exporting them. So you don't even have to actually utilize the import template that they have on there. So the first thing you want to do is obviously log into MyKW like we have on here. All right, and then the next thing that we're going to do on here is actually click the link underneath My Contacts. So I'm going to go to View Contacts on here. Here we go. All right, and once we're viewing all of our contacts, we're going to click on the Contacts option at the top right, kind of in that dark gray, I get, I, what do you want to consider it, a row? I don't know, a dark gray section. <laughs> All right, then we're going to go to Import, Export, All right, that last option down. Now, this is where you can import or export over to your eEdge CRM, but what we're going to do is we're going to export it. So I'm going to click on Export Contacts on here. All right, and now we can actually specify to export it by certain groups or even by certain statuses. So I'm just going to do all of my contacts real quick just to do a mass import. So once I click that Export option, that's automatically going to export for me. Let me move this over so you guys can see it. So as you can see, it'll say Prospects Export, and then it'll have your name on there, and then what you're exporting. So I'm going to save this real quick. All right, so now that's automatically exported for me. So the next thing we'll need to do is go to KW Command. Now, once again, this is only available for people that have access to the back end of KW Command quite yet. All right, but on here, I'm going to sign in, and the sign in is your exact same username and password for my KW. So I'm at command.kdb.com slash login. So I'll sign in real quick. All right, so this will automatically sign me into kind of the beta version of KDB Command. All right, so as you can see on here, nothing too, too crazy that we can take a look at. All right, just a couple different ways to filter it. And here are our contacts on here. So nothing too massive quite yet. All right, but if you notice, there's an option to add new. So I could actually add a brand new contact individually. All right, or right up here, we actually have the option to import. So I'm going to click on import real quick. All right, and it'll let you download the pre-made CSV file. All right, so if you're ever uploading contacts, you know, outside of the eEdge platform that you just exported, there is a pre-made CSV file that you can utilize. All right, and then on here, as you can see, if any row is populated with information but does not contain a name, you will receive an error. All right, but what we can actually do is either drop the file in here or click to browse. So I'm going to click to browse. I'm going to go to my downloads real quick, all right, and here is, all right, what I just exported, so my CSV file. So I'll double click on that, click the upload button, success, all right, we received your import request, your contacts will be available soon. Based on the amount of contacts you imported, this could take several minutes. Well, I only imported a couple contacts, so it shouldn't take too, too long. I don't think it's going to import immediately. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> so here we go. And it did, actually, so I didn't have too many contacts in there. So as you can see, I only had about maybe eight contacts, if that. Actually, I have eight all together, so I only had six that actually imported on here. All right, but you can see they automatically popped up. Here's their phone number. Here's their email address. The last time I contacted them, and there we go. All right, so it's that simple to mass import contacts from eEdge into KDB Command if you have access to KDB Command. That's the big thing. All right, you have to have access. So there you go. So that is your MyKW tip for the day.